Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we've got some pretty big news in the Linux world today. It's now official. Linux kernel 6.18 has been marked as an LTS release, which means it's going to get long-term support all the way until December 2027. Yep, that's a full two years of updates, bug fixes, and security patches. Now, Linux 6.18 was just released at the end of November 2025, and it came with some really interesting features. One of the highlights is uh, support for the Rust binder driver, which continues the trend of bringing more Rust into the Linux kernel. There's also a brand new DMP cache device mapper target, letting you use persistent memory as a cache for slower block devices. And um, there's also a new uh, microcode equals command line option that lets you control how the microcode loader behaves on x86 systems. Pretty cool stuff. As 6.18, starts rolling into stable repos for distros like Arch Linux, OpenSUSE, Tumbleweed, Fedora, and others. Kernel.org has already given it the LTS badge. And according to kernel developer Thorsten Liemhaus, this series will be supported until December 2027, just like Linux 6.1. He also mentioned that for the next couple of months, kernel.org will still show 6.18 as the latest stable series until 6.19 arrives because changing that immediately might break some scripts people use. So they're being careful, which is kind of thoughtful if you ask me. And speaking of versions, earlier today, Greg Crowe Hartman officially ended support for Linux 5.4, which had a massive six-year run since November 2019. Version 5.4.302 was the final update before it hit end of life. Right now, all supported kernels listed on kernel.org are LTS, that includes Linux 6.12 and 6.6, .6, both supported until December 2026. Linux 6.1, supported until December 2027, just like the new 6.18. And Linux 5.15 and 5.10, which will continue receiving updates until December 2026. So yeah, that's the big update. Linux 6.18 is officially LTS and it's going to be sticking around for quite a while. If you're someone who values stability or long term deployments, this is definitely good news. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.